sometimes when I'm at the gym and I'm standing still, I hear KP in my head telling me like, nigga, do something, push ups, stay busy, nigga. Bro, just moving your body, just at all, is so beneficial. It's just simple, it just breaks down your fascia. Like the more you move, the more you break down the fascia. The more free you become. Yes. The more you move, even if it's just a little bit, the more you break down that fascia, dog, the more free you become. Okay? Hey, we getting active with some incline bench today. You know, I think we're gonna do something different. I think we're mixing up the chest day, and we're mixing it with the back day. We got a, a special appearance with my boy Morpheus. Morpheus. Oh, almost done? Morpheus. Morpheus. You feel the energy. Straight to it. Morpheus, it's just brand new, okay? All right, we start with inclined bench press. Gotta warm up first. Let's go. chest like at a good reasonable time usually I've been coming to the gym late so I'm feeling like I might be strong right now you know I'm feeling I'm feeling like I could get some nice numbers up for some nice amount of reps bro I looked up like God of Dream research and I realized even before like those dreams like I used to tell people follow your dreams like, that was always my thing since I was a kid follow your dreams follow your dreams so then I felt like that spirit energy was like my purpose. So it's like you yeah, have like your God given you that your parents gave you and then like almost like the path. So like I completely like the know that energy and I shift it to like a name that reminds me of my purpose. It's funny, I, I get refreshed when um I see somebody like I hear somebody call me Uza. Because only people that call me Uza is like people that from Kansas City, like it's like my old family. Yeah, like my old family or Robert. Because Kenna, he knows Kenna so well, and he knows my family so well, he knows that they call me Uza. When he first met me, he probably learned that my name was Uza. But nobody calls me that. It's always Uzi. Bro, I, really, I, like, I like Uzoma because of what it means. It really means just like good road, but the Uzo means like good and then Ma means road or something like that. But the way I, the way I interpret it is just like have a good journey through life. Mm -hmm. That's the way my dad down. I have a good journey through life. So I like it. But you know what else I like? Uzzilla. Uzzilla. Like, that's like my like power like. Yeah, that's my free form. Like my monster. Form. Super form. Uzzilla. Yeah, they're gonna be like, nigga, we see Morpheus on the fucking workout vlog. <laughs> Injuries, good form, little body awareness. That's when you have a really good time lifting. It's like cardio. Like How I feel right now? Heart's pumping. Like if you, like if you if get the. All right, listen. If you're really just saying like rappers, you know, like you're just gonna go, you're just gonna lay it out like your Kendrick's one, you know, you're gonna go, you're probably safely put Jake Cole in there too. Drake. It's great. You got. I, I don't know, but I don't really listen to Drake like that. But then, but to me though, like ahead of all that, like cool shit, like it's how do you feel? Like how? 
Lil Uzi just make you feel like a god. He just be that this raging. Like, I don't know, I appreciate it. To create that vibe, create that fucking storm of energy. It's kind of different. Yeah, I'm trying to think like not mainstream. Because I would say J. Cole, K. Cole, all that stuff. There's like this underground artist called Boslin. 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 Um, I fuck with Krush as well. Um, and then I'm trying to think who else would I think. I feel like this guy named Kevin Powers is good too, but like honestly, out of those three that I said, I'll put Boslin on top. Um, so right now, I'm looking kind of basic, bro. All I do is listen to his Cole Drake, just because they're art, they're masters at what they do. It's just a different level. And then, if I'm talking about like just hip hop history, my list would be like KR DMX, KRS One, and Jay Z. And okay. Three, right there, right there. Okay. I agree with that. I agree. You know, you got your Kendrick, you got your J Cole, you got your Drake, you got your Kanye, you got your Wayne. But where does Lil Uzi fit into all this? You know, if I'm in your shop. Nah, you're good. This is all a part of the experience. Ah, yeah. Moving on to some chest press. The seat's a little low, so it looks inclined, but we're kind of, um, it's really just the neutral one. But it's our second set. Did one plate, now we're at two plates, and moving on. Every time. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. To YouTube, brother Morpheus. What would you rather be? A Goliath bird eating spider, tarantula, the apex of the insect world. I said, that's what I'm trying to. That's the insect I'm trying to get. In. If that's not a Goliath, for you, whatever insect you think is the most like, like the apex of the insect predator, or would you rather be a gazelle? Mm -hmm. For me, I think I, if I have the spirit I have now, I would prefer to be a gazelle. Because um, I feel like wow. my, spirit, my spirit energy would be like a driving gazelle that wouldn't be consumed by the apex You feel me? Like they, yo, like, only like cheetahs can get them. And if they get past the cheetah, they too fast yeah, for anybody. Yeah, like cheetahs only get them for a minute. I just fuck with it. Um, I'm not really a fan of insects to begin with. So, you said a spider, right? You could be a spider, a an insect. Mantis, maybe a dragonfly, whatever you think is fucking alpha and insect for you. Okay. I, I would pick the gazelles. You pick the gazelle too. Bro, they got the cuts. Yeah, like, you don't just get hugged up. Gazelle. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be that tarantula, like, nigga. We're gonna get blessed with some good feet, you know? So we gonna be. <laughs> That's a good question, though, because some people are like, no, I just wanna be the king of where yeah. the fuck I'm at, and I just wanna be. I'm like, don't let don't let me come across you, though. Don't let that gazelle come across, because I'll spill that yeah. under the sound ball on you, cut. I'll let you take a break. He says, now we're up, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Real shit. We keep on going. You don't know me, son. This nigga. Life. We did a dip and pull up combo. We wanted to get some triceps in there. So dips is like the perfect exercise, you know, because it's triceps in its chest. And then we want to mix in the, uh, we want to get some back too, so we did some pull ups.
bitch, bro. Like, sure. When you're trying to go slow, that shit. Start burning, kid. That Australia shit. I was just gonna say, your triceps nigga look inflated. <laughs> the motherfuckers. Yeah. We went to Australia. This girl was topless on the beach. Like, we never saw that before, bro. We never, you know, we never saw that. Actually, it's not as common. Growing up in Vegas. In California, there's this thing called Blackstone Beach. It's a nudist beach. So everyone there just comes in. I was like, you wanna go back our way right? You wanna way back? Yeah, Why not? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> we went we went uh, jumping in a place called Sharks Cove. Sharks Bay. Like like sharks. Jumping into water and shit. It could be Sharks Cove, like you're right. Into water. Yeah, into the water yeah. and the place was called Sharks Bay or Sharks Cove. No, Cove I think it was Sharks Cove. Shark Beach, nigga. Sharks Beach. Sharks Beach. Like. Shark. <laughs> That's what it started yeah, right. with. Would you want to jump in with it or would you get like scared? With a whale? Yeah. It depends how I'm feeling in the moment. I feel like I have two sides. I have a cautious side and I have like a a side that thinks like I'm a god and feels like I'm being protected. <laughs> so if I'm feeling like, if I'm feeling like that side, I'm gonna just jump in. I'm gonna just jump in and just like, you know, so, cause there's some times I've been putting myself in dangerous situations because my intuition tells me that I'm safe. Like I'll go try to pet a lion. Like if I feel like I'm in that vibrational state, like I'll do some shit that's like unorthodox. It looks so big, man. But it's all energy. One thing I've noticed is like, if you give off fear, they, they sense it. Like the animal's senses are heightened in humans. Like, if you ever take psychedelics and stuff, or ever in the eye, you realize your senses are heightened. So, like, I feel like those animals live in that state. So what's next? What's going on? How you feel? We got lost, got hot. I've been checked in with you guys a little bit again. So we did, uh, we did some dips, we did pull ups. We went over to these cables, man, and did some uh, tricep exercises. Single arm cable push down, and we did the rope pull down. And yeah, we're kind of freestyling at this point. We're just we're getting the pump everywhere, dog. We usually don't lift like this, but it feels good, man. We're moving, we're moving the body. We're getting stronger, so we're winning, kid. needed to do another um needed like to do a big back workout so we're gonna do a compound like t-bar rows and that's like you know that's like the last pieces of this workout so some dude this fucking 120 pound creature bro. That's just crazy. Yeah. He was doing this shit with 120 pounds. Like clean form? He did a full extension, but he didn't make this adjustment. He would give me like... <laughs> and then pull that shit out. That's just crazy. <laughs> nice. This is the accessory. I feel it. for that man so we did a we did like two big exercises for uh chest we did two exercises for the back we did like two for triceps and if you add dips in it's like we did three for chest and three for triceps you know we did those dips so it's just been like a full body plow we fucking it up. god 
Damn. Characters in a video game. I predict by January, bro, I'll be able to hit uh, flares. I'm gonna hit all the power moves. Probably have a one-arm handstand. Yo, yo, yo. Guys, we're outside of Chipotle, man. Wait, that's Cox. We're outside of Chipotle. And Cox. I'm so excited because, to be honest, I haven't really eaten out in a long, long time. I've been just keeping it, um, keeping it groceries at the crib, bro. Eggs, ground turkey, chicken, steak, and avocados have like been my diet for probably the last two months or three months. I don't know. I just have not eaten out in a long time. And this Chipotle after that workout has me pretty fired up. All I've had today was breakfast. And I'm just craving right now. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Let's go. I'll do a white rice, please. I'll uh, skip the beans. And I'll do a uh, chicken with extra steak, please. Raheem, how excited are you on a scale of 1 to 10? Be honest. I'm a solid 10. You're not an 11? 12. You're not a 12? Guys, I'm freaking excited, man. Um, yo, Raheem, is this focused on me? Is that shit on me? There you go. Yeah, thanks, man. So, yeah, you guys saw it. I got the burrito. Um, I put. I like to get chicken with extra steak, and I keep it mad simple, man. I don't really want all the lettuce and the tomatoes. I just want cheese, sour cream, and corn. That's it. Eat it to me raw. Pause. Super excited. And you know what? I just realized that the phone is leaning on a drink. My drink, and I really want that drink, so I'm gonna have to put my phone somewhere else. I love Chipotle, bro. I was telling you, I can't wait to have like, a restaurant. And just mm. open that shit and just walk in and eat without having to play. Like, just sit up with my boys just peace and just go do something else. My goal is to have a gym. Like, I just want to have like a, a business in every industry that I use. So like, I'm into fitness, so I'm going to own a gym, so I don't got to pay for that I'm into food, I'm going to rest now, so I don't got to pay for that. That should make me feel like, um... Clothing line, etc. You know those niggas in the movies? They like own the club and they... They like go to the top section, yeah. and they just, they not even having fun. Everybody else having fun. They, they just, just sit down, looking at everything. they watch. Yeah, they might get a phone call and have to leave. Like, they just want to make sure everybody else is having a good time. That shit sounds kind of cool. <laughs> That's how I feel about the restaurant. You just walk in, everybody eating good? You good? You like the, you like the food? Okay, cool. All right, yeah. You like the music playing? All right. You like the live? Yeah, okay. Nobody knows your actual owner. Yeah, you just got the glass because you just walk in the back. That should be clean. I love Chipotle, bro. Awesome. Would you rather own three Roberto's or one Chipotle? I don't even know what a Roberto is. You know what Roberto's is? So you don't know what Roberto's is. I mean, I don't even really eat there, but that shit was iconic in high school, bro. People in high school, I feel like they would get drunk as fuck one night. Everybody go to a party. And then like Roberto's would be that 24 hour open spot that people just go to and fucking grub. Get a nice cool like meal. Mexican food? Yes, Mexican. Yeah. It's like uh, just burritos, tacos. Like you never heard of carne asada fries? Like they're pretty nah, known it might for be that. Biggest thing, bro. Or West Coast. Man. Awesome, really, man. Aren't you on the West Coast though? Yeah, but maybe not where that was. Okay. I'll tell you. I don't even know if they um. I don't know if they're in LA. I've never seen them in LA. Hmm. Yeah, no, that's cool. It's fun. Yeah, I decided to get a different stand because my drink was the stand, and this shit is. When you were saying I was on an island in your dream, bro, I'm gonna show you this video. This is so funny, bro. This is a video I made. We went to the that's so fucking good. 
You guys all got watermelon and limeade? Yeah, I'm about to. I didn't get mine yet, but I got the cup. Yeah, that shit is on point. Gotta go all the way back. Our archive, my whole archive is a whole different Instagram. Mm -hmm. I probably archive over 200 posts. Mm -hmm. It's like its own Instagram. I just want to travel, bro. My goal is just to travel and have it business and investments and bring in money. Like, I want to wake yeah. up every day and see, like, plus 12K, plus 30K, like, just check every day and just, like, take care of my loved ones and my friends, bro. Have skills that you can use anywhere in yeah, the world. Bro. Trying to DJ somewhere else in another country. Yeah, yeah like when I'm on my deathbed, I'm gonna be like, bro, there's nowhere else I could have traveled. Like, I pretty much saw it all. At this point, it was like, what's next? Like, you know, like I want to visit like a hundred, like three hundred countries, bro. Like, all right, like, I saw all these wonders. Did you, are you guys interested in like bungee jumping and um, yeah, all that shit, skydiving, skydiving on that? Bro. Not bungee jumping, I'll do skydiving. I'll do bungee dump, jumping and like, yeah. water. I kind of want to do those things now. I kind of feel more open to them. Oh, yeah, okay. I, yeah, I want to go more places, bro. Explore, bro. Like Australia was so fun, bro. We need like we need like a hundred of those, bro. Yep. Mm. Bro, as good as this shit is. <laughs> I'm ready to not have it for another two months, bro. Just build that excitement again, bro. <laughs> you, went two, you went two months without your I, I've just been starving, bro. I've been just like suffering. I've been just eating like what I said. Yeah, like keeping it to the bare minimum necessities, bro. Just eating at the crib. Saving money. I feel that builds character and also makes you appreciate like the luxuries of life, bro. It's not a uh, nothing's promised. Nothing's promised, bro. One thing, death. Yeah. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing, though. It's just another stage. <laughs> no, there's some nigga that can't even die. Who life didn't what even promise him that. <laughs> It'd be funny. It's not going to see somebody complaining. <laughs> this nigga's like 300 years old. Like, what's going on, bro? I've been here for a minute. Word, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> I would be annoyed. I would be annoyed. <laughs> I'd be trying to kill myself. Nigga be 323 like, bro, this is getting out of hand. <laughs> you seem like this is getting out of hand. Right yeah. <laughs> Everybody, damn. I asked Cook if he would want to live forever. He could make a deal right now to live forever. He was like, yeah, I'd probably do it. Cook would. I can see Cook getting like, out of Damn, bro. I feel like this life is just, uh, it's like addiction. Yeah. Like all your senses, you're just addicted to your senses. You're addicted that you can see. You're addicted to everything that, like, you know all the input. Yeah, all the input so when you die you're just like it's like sitting in a room all day with nothing no video games no not, just you just and you you have to dopamine fast yeah. that's like i feel like dying is the ultimate dopamine fast like, let's see what happens when you have nothing to but they say you know your energy's still there so i'm like yeah. what's you know it's just i don't know i'm just trying to you know but uh i think living forever would be a curse be, I mean, it would be annoying because you're kind of settling for you don't know what happens point, next it gets to a point where you you're, settled. You can, you're done it all like, at that point you want a different experience True. it's easy to say yeah you want to live forever when you haven't experienced everything but then it, it becomes it, it equates to like living in Vegas your whole life like some people like I want to travel everywhere because they haven't been anywhere but the moment you hit everywhere it's like now what it's like you're constantly chasing that next high does that make sense yeah. You know, I wouldn't mind if we just got reincarnated as a chance to be every single species. When you come back as a random species. Live it. You can kill yourself if you want. You just know you're going to come back as something else. <laughs> Even somewhere else. Another like, but don't you feel like that's how it is? Because don't you notice some, some cockroaches or some bugs will just present themselves to you like, my nigga, just kill me. Or get this shit over with. Like, they just stand right in front of you like, I see you and you see me. Like, are you going to do it or not? And they don't even they run. They'd they <laughs> be like, get me out of this fucking body. He's like, yo, I'm, I'm tired of being <laughs> And I know I'm going to be a, hopefully I'm a lion next or something. Get me out and of this shit. And then you don't kill him and then you're like, fuck. Yeah, them niggas still just like, damn, I'm still alive. Because I would have killed him. Like, I ain't doing no favors, kid. Word. I ain't taking no souls. That's another thing, too. Nation don't give a fuck, bro. Nation don't even have good or bad. Bro, nature does not care. Humans do, yeah. I was like, good and bad is real, but then in nature, it's not really They torture about their that. prey, bro. They'll chew, on the, they'll chew on the buffalo's ear. It's not bad. They'll eat. Well, I, just, I just saw this documentary on lions, 
and this lion pride was like killed like 60% or 40% of lions in Africa or some shit. And they, they made it sound like a gang. Like they were like every every gang has its fall. And like they went over like how it came, how they came to be about and how they fell. But one of the lions got like in a fight with three other ones. And that lion didn't die. As it took its last breath, like all of its hind legs were eaten off. So this boy was like, you know, they killed him, tortured him alive pretty much. Paralyzed him, they put the tooth in the spine. And then they ate his legs before he was even dead. So I'm just trying to say that like nature don't give a damn, bro. They'll, they'll chew your tail off, they'll chew your feet off while you're there just. He was weak already. He, I think what happened was is he was such an alpha. He always fucked shit up with his brothers, always won. That he had a fearlessness about him. He he went to charge three other lions. And they just beat his ass. Teen Titans. Teen Titans, boy. Yeah, that should be hard. Oh, yeah, like, dude, he was out of Teen Titans. Yeah, he was, my favorite yeah one. he was, he had the dopest yeah, for sure. His power was fantastic. He could morph into anything. Because he could kill anybody. He could, he could be a damn small bug going yeah, to your nose and turn into a T Rex. He'll kill you. He would. You know, it's over. They just don't know how to use his powers. Yeah, exactly. That's what I would have done. He was OP. <laughs> Yeah, I remember playing that game on Cartoon Network too. I would go to that website and play hella games. Bro. This was so fun. It was a Samurai Jack game that was yep. point. You know what I'm talking about by chance? I know exactly. What game he would uh, it was like challenges for him. Yep. Remember once he would he had like a sword master where he'd have yeah, to like hit the melons. melons. Yeah, yeah like, if you hit the rock, you lose, and he had to jump across the pillars, yep. sail the seven seas with one dude. Mm -hmm. That shit was hard, bro. I oh, I that 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 was that was bro. And I used to play on mini clip too. Just mini clip, remember that? I played mini clip. I know I struggled with impossible. I struggled with it a lot. With I struggled with it with the successes. Like I would never claim my successes really. Like I, I didn't feel that. I didn't want to talk about. It. I felt like like who the fuck cares? Like who cares? And like who who are you to talk about what? Is who cares? Kind of like that. But I would even do it to like. But even. I would definitely do it to that, but I would even do it to the core. Like, bro, who cares? It's, it's your birthday. Nobody would ever care about you. Don't even talk about like, who cares? Like, people have to choose to care. Like, why would they ever choose to care? I've had that in me since a kid. And I even was on a, when I had that trip, I'm trying to find out a, the bad one where I said it made me forget everything. I literally was looking for a positive and the positive that I came to a conclusion of, I was like, maybe it made me forget everything because that was, the bad seed in me that I told myself nobody really cares about your story. Who cares, bro? Who cares? Right. But everybody. Be, yeah, you'd be surprised. Because that won't let you create. If, I'm, if I if I that's deeply rooted in me, it's gonna be like I don't even need to speak on this because you don't even really have a right to like care. Like, why are you? I always had that for me, but I let other. I would always every. I, I noticed everybody else didn't really think that. But like they'll just out there. Like, my birthday tomorrow. Like what's up? Like they'll say whatever. Same, They're like yo. I'm like, so it doesn't have to be how I'm thinking. It's yeah. just my perspective is yeah. killing me. And I finally feel like I'm, at, I'm getting out of it. Like, I don't call myself shy anymore. I used to always say I'm shy. And then there was one dude at the gym and I was like, I was about to say it. He said he was shy to do videos. I'm like, you know, I'm shy. It's like, wait a minute. I, was, I don't even feel shy. Yeah, he's like, I'm not shy himself. no more. He changed the narrative. I, yeah, I, was, I was like, I'm not shy anymore, bro. I don't, I'm not even going to say that. I'm not even going to finish that sentence. And that's the day. I was like, that's the day. I feel this right now. Like, power we're not shy. You have the power to change your narrative. And like, so many people like, throw that shit away and they don't realize that they're in control of their timeline. Like your life is your timeline. Like, you're in control of how it, you may not be in control of the circumstances you were born into, but you can definitely control like the trajectory of like where your future is gonna go if you're conscious of it. And it, that takes like a lot of conscious effort to be aware of, of what you're going through. Cause like one of my friends, like he's constantly telling himself, I have anxiety, I'm never gonna get past my situation. And then I'll be like pointing out like positive stuff and he'll like literally turn the positive like into a, a negative. Record. He'll like switch it and he'll try to find a reason. He knows like what we gotta do.